Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with uh, the next episode of Electric Adventures The Games. Uh, we're looking at my um, games I released early back in the day, mostly written in BASIC, some with a little bit of machine code. They're all originally written for the original Spect Video machines and then I converted them to the MSX when they came along. So our next pack is Program Pack 11 and the first one on there is called Missile Command. So absolutely zero guesses needed to figure out what that one's about. So let's run him. So it's using a bit of line drawing and it actually has a nice title screen showing us what our um, uh, scores are. So you get 20 points for a leftover missile or 100 points for a leftover city. So put the cities on. So we move our cursor here and oops, there's no So we do actually have a bit of sound going. We've only got the one missile base in the middle. So. Um, and there is no time for the launch time to the different parts of the screen. It's more... Oh. Two cities. through the various waves. No. It's getting used to I radius. I don't need to do that one because I'm not gonna have a city. And as you can see it doesn't do a too bad job of playing a, um, a game of Missile Command. Doesn't quite score as highly as the original missile command. Try my hardest here to get to an extra second again. Lost another city, I managed to save that one. God, we're so close to getting an extra city. I noticed the actual movement speed of the missiles is quite fast now. Managed to just do it in the right spot. Another wave. City. Okay, bonus city sound. That comes back at a random spot, but it is getting very hard now. You really can like choose your battles. City. Oh, I suppose that makes it easier to defend. Okay. Do that just to get some points. Let's save the missiles. Anything coming? I'll do that again to get points. Nothing coming from the city, so I'm pretty lucky. There. 
We survived the wave. Which a fairly good bonus. Oh, I didn't quite get an extra city. Okay, so the random gods are looking after us. So this is a nice mix of the um, different drawing commands that we've got in basic. MSX does have a mouse. I never had one of those when I wrote this game though, so it would be interesting to be able to support that. Oh, no, I didn't do it. Just. So in this one you don't have to worry about defending your actual missile base. Five times points. I'm actually quite surprised that I'm lasting as long as I am. Get an extra city, we're down to one. Ah, good. You notice there's more waves per wave now as well. So, you know, I had all those things of, you know, bonuses, um, increasing difficulty. Surprised at how special it is for this game as well. I can't believe we're alive. I've played this for years. But it's, you know, it's got all those things uh, that would make a game good. Alright, we're up to wave 14 now. I better leave it to it. So, we'll, there we go. Look, we're going to get completely destroyed here. So, I'll, do, I'll get set up and we can have a quick look through the code. Right, here we are back. Let's have a look at how long our code is. And I said you'd be surprised that this isn't actually very long. Uh, I mean, there's a fair bit of code on each line, as you can see. There we go. Only 33 lines long. So let's start from the start. Not too much. 
Okay, so I use your line 10, clear a bit of space, set our standard color screen, uh, make all our variables integers to increase speed and define our random function and open a handle to the screen. Line 20, um, change the screen mode a little bit, uh, define Z to be single precision so we can have um, uh, some uh, decimal numbers there. Um, we set our sprite shape, there's only one sprite shape which is the crosshairs um, by just using uh, char characters there so we're not reading that in from a data array like we normally do. Um, we set our high score to be 10,000 and we read a the values R and B from further down. We'll see them later. Line 30, we clear the screen. We um, draw a couple of filled boxes, three filled boxes, um, which is our uh, bar down the bottom and the other secondary boxes are the cutouts where the score and everything is. So we'll put our score and high score down the bottom there. Um, then line 40, we actually get our current high score and um, pad the zeros on the left, so there's a technique of padding zeros there and we print that, we double print it one pixel offset so you get the thicker text um, and then we draw some more lines and we paint an area so that paints, that sets up our initial area. Now line 50 we use the draw command so the draw command um, is um, like logo paint where it's basically commands where you can set colors um, so the first thing is C3 so color 3 um, I think BM something move without drawing to 40 comma 0 uh, down 40 M plus 10 M plus 10 so move so down 40 and then move relative plus 10 plus 30 and then move plus 10 minus 30 um, and it continues on. That would This would be drawing our city, I would say. Or is it, no, this is drawing the missile command logo. That's what it is now, I realized. Um, line 60, uh, we go and set a point, set a color, um, and then print 20, and then print 100. So they're the two scores of the uh, two different items. And then line 70, do some more drawing. Actually, I'm not 100% sure which one's the title and which one's the um, uh, the city and the um, the missile that's drawn on there. They, they could actually be the first one and the second one's the title. Then we put our press trigger to begin on string. Line 80, we loop around until either the um, keyboard spacebar or the first joystick button is pressed. And if one is, we go and set our um, score, our extra man flag, um, bonus city flag, go sub 300 probably displays some things. We've got W because um, W setting up lots of variables. Then we go and do a loop from one to six. This is probably set, put positioning our cities. So we um, we basically have an array of C, which probably says whether the city's alive or not. And then we set the X position and we draw whatever's in B$. dollar. So B$ dollar already has set up the um, shape of a city. So they're actually looking up that code over there. So B$ dollar is the um, shape of a city and R$ dollar is the shape of a rocket. All the other stuff was positioning stuff. So that's obviously what one of our Go subs does is set up those two variables. Oh, only just. So 990, um, go sub 320, we'll find out what that is later. M equals 20, that's the number of missiles. Go sub 310 probably displays that. Um, we draw a box and fill it with black. So rubbing something out, we put wave and the wave number. And we put that on the screen. Um, in a random color. And put that twice offset by one pixel so it's nice and thick and then we do the times points based on the level um, and display that have, have a little delay for a second and then we rub that out so it puts the you know the, the level things up and rubs out now low 100 got a loop from 1 to 4 and this is I would say defining our uh, starting position of our four incoming missiles so for each part of the wave there are always four missiles and Oh, right there, uh, my tea was ready. 
All right, so we just did line 100. Line 110 is getting the direction from our joystick, and one so over 110 and 120, we adjust the, the position of our little um, cursor on the screen within our limits. I'm going up to the top of the screen all the time sometimes, you've got to be careful. Right, now line 130 puts the sprite in its current position on the screen and then we're looking for a trigger piece and whether we have any um, missiles currently in play. And then we go through a loop of two to display um, a smaller circle than a bigger circle on screen so you get your little bit of an explosion uh, with some sound playing and go sub 310 which you will find out about later line 140 we've got another loop of two inside which is inside I don't know it's a, it's a new one and it's drawing yeah, it's basically animating our circles and filling them in now line 150 we go through each of our missile trails and if they're still active um, we increase their X and adjust their Y depending on which direction they're going and then we look at a point uh, of where they are and if it uh, equals the colour 9 which is uh, the purple colour um, or is it the orange colour um, <coughs> whatever the colour of our uh, missile explosions are and if it's hit that then uh, the missile's been stopped so we add to our score, display our score, increase the number of ones killed else we just put the point on the screen where the trail's going. Line 160 um, if our trail hasn't reached the bottom of the screen then we, we, um, we skip the next bit otherwise um, we go and wipe out a city I'd say the next bit does animation of the explosion. So 170 does the uh, first part, probably the uh, the smaller uh, circle with a sound, and then it sets it to eight. So next time round the loop, it'll display bigger, um, and then the next time round it'll actually be a killed one. Um, line 180, once we've reached killed equals four, we've actually gotten rid of all four of the current trails on the screen and we increase our wave. Um, <clears throat> and the number of waves you get is dependent on the level of difficulty. So the higher the level you are, the more waves you have. Um, and we rub out all of the drawing on the top part of the screen so they can drill the missile trails and the explosions and go to 100 and start a new wave. Otherwise, um, start a new level. Otherwise, we go to the next wave where we get four more missile trials and we go back down there. So line 190 is the first of our subroutines. Um, so that rubs out the main screen area. And if the current number of missiles is larger than zero, then it goes and Trying to look at the, this displays the rockets and a score. So this is putting up our bonus um, score when we've finished a um, finished a wave. Well, it's finished a level. Sorry. Um, so that puts up. Just checking that. Yeah, it puts up the rockets first and increases our score accordingly. Then line two hundred, we're going to go through the cities and see whether the, it, those cities are still alive. Okay, so line 210, if the number of cities and our bonus city is larger than one, we put up the words bonus city and uh, play a sound, a special sound, and then otherwise we jump to 230. So line 220 draws or increases our cities by one and decreases our bonus cities by one as well and we find a city that we don't have and um, draw it. So for each bonus city we draw a, um, a city. Then line 230, um, if we have any cities left, uh, then we go and go bang, 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 draw the cities across and show the bonus. Line 240, um, if 
we've had enough waves based on our current level then we increase the level and regardless we'll go back down to 90 and start a um, new level okay so line 250 uh, another subroutine clears our sprite go subs to 320 which we we'll have a look at in a minute and plays um, sound and draws line so this is a game over explosion Uh, 260 would draw the words uh, is there a string that will draw game over on the screen line 270 puts that on the screen and puts it on the screen again offset and then we have a bit of a delay we check to see whether our score has gone over our high score and update the high score and then we go back to 30 which starts our game again and we've got a catch all line in there so the last part of the program are our subroutine so 300 is where we display the score, padding it with zeros on the left and we also check to see whether we've gone over our next extra man score and if so um, add to our bonus cities. Line 310 is where we display the missile, number of missiles to go in our centre tower and line 320 is a subroutine that plays a bit of a tune and line 330 is the data for our two objects that we use. So the first um, piece of data is for our rocket and the second piece of data is for our city or base and that's the end of the program um, and as well, hopefully you'll agree there's actually uh, some quite different techniques being used in there a lot of use of the draw command uh, which is seems quite efficient and draws quite well and it may and this whole game is actually quite playable quite fun and uh, good for a bit of replayability and it's the bigger title on the program pack there are two other games on the program pack that are more puzzle orientated or more um, a little bit simpler concept just to pad the game out so this was the big game for the program pack and uh, we'll get on to the next one in the next episode all right i'm electric adventures thanks to all my subscribers thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time